Hey everybody, it's Gray Spartan here. And what you're watching in the background is a little bit of some Halo 5 gameplay. Now this is actually my gameplay. Uh, one of my very first few matches. I think it's like my sixth match. Fifth or sixth match. Something like that. I mean, it's nothing uh, crazy. I got a good feel for it. At least a little bit of a good feel for it. Now you might be asking, how did I get this? Now, the only reason I got the Halo 5 beta gameplay is because I actually am a preview member for Xbox One. Now what the preview program is, is every month or so they update the Xbox One dashboard or whatever and they allow me to have early access to it and I can take surveys, uh, answer questions, report bugs, and et cetera, uh, et cetera and that type of stuff. And because I do that on a regular basis and uh, I think every other preview member that does participate on a regular basis, they got an uh, email today, or not an email, an Xbox Live message, uh, I'm sorry, yesterday at this point, and uh, what it said is they gave you codes for Halo 5, he gave you two codes. One was to actually download the beta and the other one was to activate it so that you could play. So I, of course, got the code and downloaded it and activated it. And it took me a while. I ain't going to say it took me a while. Um, I, have, I have really not good internet. So uh, it took me a while. So I didn't get any real gameplay until later tonight or yesterday, last night. Um, so I wanted to get some game time and so I can really share my opinions on it and what I've felt so far and what I've seen uh, we only played two maps. That's all that we have available in this beta. And the, the full beta that's going to be coming out, it has seven maps and three game types. All this had was two maps, Empire, the one you are watching, and Truth, which is the midship remake. Now, to talk briefly about those two maps, um, I personally like Empire a little bit better. I think it offers a lot more um, variety. Uh, it's a very small map very fun to play on in my opinion um midship uh or the truth uh, whatever you want to call it i have not been a big fan of midship for a little while i mean it's a good map uh, especially if you're playing 2v2s and stuff like that in the past but it's just the way the map is laid out and it's just not my favorite i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying it's just not something i prefer i i want to see some new stuff is what i really want to see and i think we're going to see that here in uh of course on the 29th which is nine days from now so that's just my brief opinions on that now let's talk about sprint a little bit because sprint is a very big part of halo 5. now the way it is implemented i have to say that i think 343 balanced it really well i i have to um, when I'm in a battle fight or in a battle, I have to really make that decision. Do I want to run? Do I want to hide? Do I want to fight? Uh, it's And even then, when I decide to run, I have to do, really sit there and decide, well, how far do I want to run? Because as long as I'm running, my shields don't recharge. And that becomes an issue. So I have to figure out and try to find a place for cover, run for my teammates, or etc., or just stop, see if I can't get a nade or something on them, and, and take them down. So sprint actually feels, in my opinion, it feels fairly well balanced in this game, which I like. Um, even though I'm not a huge advocate for sprint for Halo, but I think this is actually going to work out well. I think they've done a good job in balancing that. Now, as for the chatter, and I've talked about this before in my previous video, um, and this is without any game time. And now, this is with game time. Now, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't so over-distracting. Uh, it is still something I think it should be toggled off uh, if you want it off. Um, other than that, it, it's not too bad. Uh, it is kind of cool when you... Especially for me, due to my um, my gamer tag, uh, they they sometimes call, "Hey, good job, Spartan," or something like that. And I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> they're practically talking to me," or whatever. And it it's felt like that just a couple times, and it's like, "Wow, that's kind of cool." And I think they're doing a good job with that. Um, again, though, I do wish it was something that they could turn off. 
Now there you go, nice quick assassination. As you know, assassinations have returned. Um, moving on to here, let's see. Uh, Spartan abilities, I didn't try everything, didn't do the uh, ground pound. Uh, to be actually honest, I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> uh, I think there's a thruster thing you can do in the sky or, or you hover, and there's no uh, instruction guide with this. It's just kind of jump in there and, and do it. Um, so I wasn't too good with that. I didn't even see anybody do it. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a problem, in my opinion. You never know. Uh, once people get a better feel for it, it might become something that's an issue. But we'll see and wait until then. Now, as you can see on the HUD, uh, you're right there, is that the sniper rifle is going to be popping up soon. And this, again, is something I don't care for too much. But it is kind of interesting the way they do this. I mean, it announces that the sniper rifle is up in 30, and then it announces it in 10 seconds, etc., etc. And then the teams actually really do. They go uh, around that weapon, and they try to hold down the area so they can pick it up. Now, I think this is the video here. I actually get some fairly decent snipes, so I hope you enjoy that. Um, the sniper is actually fairly difficult to use. I've tried, especially close up. You know how in Halo 4 you can get snapshots pretty easily? I've tried, and I think in the end of this video, I think I tried to get a snapshot, and it was just dang near impossible. I had a hell of a time. But uh, zoomed, it wasn't too bad. I got some pretty good snipes right there, as you can see. Uh, I felt good. The sniper rifle felt good. I wish it sounded a little beefier, because honestly... I think Halo CE sniper rifle had the best sound, uh, especially in the anniversary version. It just sounds so beefy and so powerful. Uh, I really enjoyed that sniper rifle sound. Uh, this one, it's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but um, it's something I wish that 343 would do, uh, add into it. Uh, the same with the battle rifle. I don't like the sound as much as I liked some of the older ones. But we're going to deal with it how it is. It's not bad, though. Um, uh, anything else here that I can think of that I wanted to talk about? Uh, yes, ranks. Ranks are actually really awesome in this. I like the fact that you have to, one, you have to play ten matches. And once you get ten matches, it puts you into a tier. And I actually got into the gold tier first try. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's probably nothing special. It's probably like halfway up. Just It's probably where I'm actually always at. I think there's bronze, silver, gold, onyx. And I'm not sure what's above that. I think that's actually the pro tier on above that. But it's actually really cool because it's got like four segments on each tier. Or three segments. And... After each match, you either go up or you go down. And I really thought that was an awesome addition. And you could see it. You could see the gauge as to where you're at on the tier. So that was awesome. I really like that. I can't wait to see this actually in full uh, implementation in the beta. And, of course, um, when we actually get the game uh, next year. But um, since this video is just about ready to wrap up, you're going to see my terrible trying to get these snapshots here. Um, but I mean, it's really bad. But anyways, I think we're going to be sitting pretty good next year. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the Crazy Spartan, and I am out of here.